Network. Welcome back to another edition of The Forecast. Uh, it is a three plus one tonight. We will not have uh, King Doc on the show, but we do have a special guest, uh, my man Charles Cole the Third. Uh, glad to get him on as we review Killers of the Flower Moon. Uh, now, just to give a little intro, we normally do uh, like all black characters, at least one black character, and it ain't none black character in this film, but uh this was this was something that uh was recommended and uh charles was definitely one that uh he talked about it on his show which i'll come to him in a minute and he'll, he'll talk about what he does as well but uh this is a, a very deep uh topic if you haven't watched this yet it is available on uh, apple tv uh it's also on youtube different platforms but apple tv is where you can uh you know if you got the subscription already so Really excited to get into this topic, but uh, we kind of go around the room like we always do, and uh, we go to our guest first. Charles, how you doing? Give give a little introduction to the to the audience. Oh man, uh, you, you supposed to my left on me, man. Hopefully, I don't I don't give too much or too little. I'm Charles. I've known Ben for a long time. Uh, the work that I do and around is I work in education. I run a nonprofit that I started called Energy Converters that focuses on building agency and education for black people and, and, and a lot of other folks. Uh, and then uh, I run um, a consultancy and that's where I write my books. And when I go speaking engagements and stuff like that, and you can go see all that work at Charles the third.com. And, you know, I only, I only sell one book, the rest I make absolutely free. But uh, on the other side of things though, I'm just a nerd. I'm a nerd. I'm a tech nerd. I like, I got the Apple vision pro coming on Friday uh, and I like movies, man. I, I have a, theater in my crib i love i love movies and this was definitely one i wanted to expand on so you thank you brothers for having me definitely definitely uh will how you doing big big screen works now man (laughs) yeah still getting used to this thing uh yeah doing all right doing pretty good uh ready to talk about this one because man it is a hot it's a uh talk about brought to the forefront yeah uh, yeah I don't know. Might but uh, might lose some fans tonight. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, hey we, if they watched any of these episodes, they know we keep it real. Uh, uh, it's just like watching the Dave Chappelle special when you get offended. Oh, yeah. I don't even know why you're going. Like you should not even go. Right. You feel like you even know what you know what's gonna happen. You know you're gonna be a you know see so you say something that's gonna rub you. Right. All right, A trap. I'm here, man. I'm good. Uh long weekend. I'm good. Well, good to see you. Good to see you here. Uh, definitely hope you can get some uh, some some steam off if you need to in the conversation. But uh, I'm glad I'm to glad to see you. I hear you. I hear you. All right. So normally Doc would read the plot. He's not here tonight, so I'll go ahead and do that. It's a 2023 American epic western crime drama film directed and produced by Martin Scorsese, Eric Roth. And Scorsese based uh, the screenplay on a 2017 nonfiction book by David Grand, set in 1920s Oklahoma. It focuses on a series of murders of Osage members and relates in the Osage Nation after oil was discovered on the tribal land. So uh, we'll, we'll we're gonna dive right into it. So we normally do uh, give our initial thoughts. So you know what your initial thoughts was when you first started watching it or when you seen the, the trailer, what was kind of your initial thoughts? Uh, we'll, we'll go to our guest first, Charles. Uh, y'all keep putting me on the spot first. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> here's the thing. I, I don't like the reality of what happened, but I mean, it's Scorsese. Like I like, it's a, it's a well-made movie and it was a oh, lot yeah. of stuff happening. My initial thoughts is, wow, this was happening at the same time as Tosa, which I got a lot of different, uh, thoughts about from the movie. I mean, Oklahoma was just popping during this time for people that wasn't white. Um, and, you know, I got a lot of interesting thoughts, but overall, I mean, Scorsese is Scorsese for a reason. 
And so um, I think people acted really well in it. If you get if you end up hating somebody, then that means somebody did good. And I do think that the breakout star was Lily Gladstone. Uh, Lily, I, I've seen her on Billions. I watched Billions. Uh, but this is the first time I got to really see her. And I kind of fell in love with that character. Um, now, I think they were stupid and silly. But th that I don't want to go into the actual commentary because <laughs> uh, it's only so bad you could be feeling about people when they... When, you know how vampires, you got to welcome a vampire in. So uh, yeah. it's definitely different from Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is uh, this Osage. They welcome these people in. So I don't want to step on nobody else's opinion. So I'm going to just stop there. But uh, I can't wait for us to dive into some of the more particulars of it. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And, uh, yeah. So <laughs> this one right here is definitely uh, something I, I, I mean, even from the beginning when, you know, kind of hinting to, you know, let, let me just say this. You, It's like as white people, they complain about race mixing, but yet it's your very tool that you're using to pretty much wipe out somebody slowly. You're, using, you're literally using race mixing to wipe out of people and take what they have by it's not even you're not even slaughtering them openly anymore you're planting stuff here you're doing stuff there making it look like suicide making it look like oh they got hooked on alcohol and whatever else so it, it's gonna be an interesting one I, I'm, I'm ready to talk about this one it's a lot to unpack and uh yeah. when i saw the trailer i was like man it looks really good uh, of course, I knew it was going to be a long movie if Martin's behind it. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> it's going to be a long one. It's going to be a long one. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to dive into this one. I, I, I wanted to see it when I when I first saw the trailer. I was like, oh, this looks really interesting. So I'm going to like this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Trap. Oh, my initial thoughts was, um, as I said before the show, um, American history has been put on film. You know, we always want to talk about cherry trees and I'll never tell a lie and, you know, uh, yeah. freeing the enslaved people. But this was truly American history one on one. This is the uh, this was the underbelly of the American history that we never are taught. This is why people like moms. My, what is it? Moms against moms of America. These yeah. these white women are going coast to coast, border to border, eliminating books about things like this. And now you're forcing people, if you are watching something like this, you're forced to look into it. And if you look into it, you get a rude awakening. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Sure. Uh, so it, it basically it opens up uh, and it gives kind of a history or kind of a description of the Osage nation and the people and uh and then it's just oil just sprouting up out of the ground i felt like that was a perfect intro to it to to kind of give you a sense of okay this is where we're where we're going with this um yeah. and uh and it opened up uh molly burkhardt who's the kind of one of the the central characters uh which is played uh by you just mentioned it uh Lily Glass Lily, Lily Glassman, right. So uh she's sitting down and she's talking about all these murders that are happening. So kind of as that as that scene is approaching and the oil law sprouting up, uh what what's what's kind of going through your head, Wilkes? Well man, the Renaissance period is going through my head. Tulsa uh Black Wall Street's going through my head because you like I said, these these Native Americans have this resource that, you know, you want. Now you don't know how to just kind of barter and use it. You just want to take it completely, you know? And it's like, well, if I can get rid of you, then I can control the substance and I can control the land. It's like, it's one of those things where it's just like, when is enough is enough, but it's not enough. Yeah. So, no. <laughs> it, and and it, it just comes down to, to greed at the end of the day. 
Right. Uh, you you exactly. can sum this whole thing up into greed. Right. What I have right. is not enough, so I need to take yours to make it seem like yeah, make it's myself like you feel better. Me, yeah, yeah you, you tell me to go do this. You tell me to go start my own thing. And then when I go start it and it's successful, now you want to take it because you can't figure out how to get yours successful. Right. Or ask me, hey, how did you start going about this? No, I'm just going to find a way to snake my way in or brute force. Or, hell, I don't even want it sometimes. Just because I can't have it, you can't have it. Right, right. I just want to take it just because I want to take it. Yeah, right. So, oh, man, man, this movie. Oh, man. Yeah, and, and before I go any further, let me let me get to the chat real quick. We got a, uh, some comments here. Kirby Alexander in the building. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate uh, your support as always. Uh, also, see, we got uh, Bill Bill Conrad he said, uh, "Yeah, Charles, I don't know if he." Uh, oh, you know, Joliet. Okay, he's not far from where I'm. I, I know where Joliet is. I'm in I'm in the Chicago area. I'm in Dalton, so. It's a, a okay. south suburb, yeah. Okay, so so uh, a traps in Chicago too. So man, y'all y'all definitely gotta y'all, okay. y'all gotta link. I was up. born in Maywood, man. I'm an Oakland boy with with Ben, but I was born in Maywood. So yeah, West Side. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> no, I mean I'm from the West Side. Well, West, I'm West suburb, but yes, yeah, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> when people when people not from the Chicago area, I'll just say Chicago. When somebody's yeah. from the area, I can say where it is. Ben, it's like. Oh. Somebody being from Albany, and they'll be like, "Bro, I'm from the San Francisco Bay Area." You know what yeah, I'm saying? Right, like, right. Yeah, hey, the same thing with Emeryville. You say Emeryville. That's what I'm like, saying. What? Nobody just. I'm like, yeah. yeah. It's between Berkeley and Oakland. Oh, okay, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know where it was. My mom used to live in Bellwood. Oh, okay, I, that's why I was born at Westlake Hospital, which was in yes. Bellwood. So yeah. Yeah, we got a uh, D. Great. Thank you for tuning in, Raider Kev in the building. Uh, Chief Rocker forecast without without Doc. Yeah, Doc not here tonight. Uh, and then uh, Miss Thang for you, the greed, jealousy. Yeah, that 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 those two words sums up this entire right. film. And that's, I mean, we we could really you know cut the whole thing off, but I think obviously oh, yeah. we want to we want to least dive exactly into it deeper. It but that's what it comes down to. Charles uh, thoughts. Well, I had a few though, man. I think, but I think there's nuances to this story and that people and why. I think people should watch it, even if you don't like it. Like, and you know, y'all let me know. Are we talking about the movie, or are we talking about the history that the movie is portraying, right? Because I think that's two different conversations. Yeah, I think, yeah. oh, absolutely. Um, but, but I think that there, the the interesting nuanced thing about this was, it. I mean, people were jealous. They were jealous, and they were annoyed, and they were angry, and they were racist. But they were welcomed in. Like it was like. Right, they opened the door. Yeah, this is this it's like the, open the door to your the, killer, basically. The juxtaposition yeah. of Black Wall Street versus the Osage Nation, which was probably the, I think the richest town at its time, like in the United States, and white folks felt like they, they, they had like they deserved that, and and but it, that wasn't the crazy thing. The crazy thing was how in concert all the white people were. Right, even if they weren't committing the murders, everybody knew what was happening. And it was just like a systemic thing. But, you know, one of the craziest things that happened was the man, the white dude killed one of the, the, the sisters. He killed her. And then he married the other sister and the other sister was with it. So at some point, yeah, I don't know how bad, like if you keep sticking your hand in the lion's head, like in a lion's mouth. I mean, I'm sorry that it chopped down on you, but I mean. I, I think there is different, but I do have a very strong thought. I don't know if I should put this out now, but I will. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. This oh, is what changed how I looked at it. And I'm not judging anybody, right? But there was that scene in the movie and in that in, where the parade was happening. And in the front of the parade, you had the Osage. In the middle, you had the white people. And at the end, bringing up the rear, you had the Klan. So... What this told my black ass, uh, as I'm on with four other black men, um, I, my level of sympathy and empathy uh, shifted. It is still there. It is still wrong what happened to those people. And, you know, like, if you got a family member and they, can, and, and they deal with murderers and killers and then they all get busted together on some dope charges and you like, you hanging with murder, you welcoming murderers and killers right. in the in the building, fam. Like you grown at some right. point, oh, absolutely. you got some at ages some point, against some responsibility. Point you, gotta, you gotta turn the finger around. 
at some point, the only one that was on code was the mama. The mama and the and the and the yeah. native dude that did the monologue that was talking about the white. Them the only two people. Everybody else wanted to be close to them white folks. So, yeah. and and I think I think Molly from the jump she knew she knew what the she deal said was. You want my money? She knew she knew it, oh, and she good. just I don't I don't know. I mean, I, you could say she fell in love, but I think she just wanted somebody. And she was just about to settle for this dude that she knew was about yeah. to steal from her. And, and oh, so you're you right. You're right about that, Charles. A trap. I mean, it's, it's classic. You know, it, this is a microcosm of what's going on in the black community today. No matter how many times white America kicks us in the ass, we bend over again and pick that coin up. We stand in front of the ass kicking machine and feed it quarters and then wonder why our asses are sore. You know, you know, let's just, you know, this is a hundred, let's just go back a hundred years. This is 1920. Let's go back to 1820. Then let's go back to 1720. This is information that has spread throughout this nation year, decade throughout decade, year by year. And you understand that these people mean you no good. But as you guys have clearly stated, no matter how bad they were treated, you could walk into a situation and say, hey, I know I'm about to get screwed. And then you pull down your underwear and bend over. So it is, as Charles stated, it is extremely difficult to have empathy, but you do understand simply because your people are experiencing this exact same thing. Yeah. And it's sad. It's truly sad. It's I it's it's, it's Anglo-Saxon uh idolatry. For mm. whatever reason, the people of color in this country continue to trust. Uh, people who mean them no good. Even even outside of this movie today, I was listening to Laurie Daniel Favors movie. I mean, a uh, 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 a show it had nothing to do with this movie. And this brother, ironically, Charles from Chicago, mm -hmm. calls in and tell and and tries to debate with Laurie about why black people in America support should support Trump. Every fact that he she he brought up. She shot down like a duck. And he was like, well, I don't care. And I was like. <laughs> that ain't an argument. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. And that's the real question. Why do we continue to do it? Yeah. And this, 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 this is a great comment right here about Bill. When a person shows you who they are, believe them. And, it, and so you had, and I think you had kind of a split in this Osage uh, areas that you had the council who was like, yeah, we ready to defend it. But my thinking, I was, I was starting to think, do they just don't want to do anything? Or are they just too old that they are like, we we're, we're at this point where we, we don't feel like it's, it's, uh, there's anything that we can do. Cause they, they, they were meeting. It's like they were having meetings and rallies, but they weren't actually doing anything. So I, I didn't, I didn't get the, yeah, and they were like trying to send somebody to Washington or something like that. But well, no, nah, it was significant though, right? So hear me, I'm being nerd dude again, but it was significant be in, in in American history because it was the it was the birth of the FBI at the time. It was just the Bureau of Investigation. It was the yeah. the BOI at that time, and would become the FBI. So this is around the time when who when J Edgar Hoover. Like this is one of the first things he got. So them sending them there and with all that mysterious stuff, because there was no Bureau of Investigation at first. That's why the local police knew what was happening. The state folks knew everybody. Again, the white people that was in power, everybody knew it was an unspoken understanding. Right. So yeah. the ironic thing is that the FBI actually helped them and help crack this case. This is the only reason that we know, while at the same time we would go on to harass and terrorize black people. There's a lot of juxtaposition around oppressed people. Part of the reason why I don't like the term people of color, because I don't like when you just group everybody in the same boat, like we working on the same thing or going through the right. same stuff, because that's not necessarily the case. Right. And I think if your black ass would have showed up in Osage Nation, I think you would have felt like you was in Arkansas. I think you would have felt like you was in, you know, in, right. in, in the Bible Belt, right? Like, I still, I, I think that there would have still been a disdain. Maybe people wouldn't have bothered you, but you would have been reminded early on that you was a black person that had less than and knew less than. Uh, and I don't know if that was just limited to the white people in that place. Because again, in the 
in the happiest day, the happiest scene in the movie, in the parade, Osage Nation is up front. The yeah. white, the regular white people is in the middle, and the rear, the anchor, is the clan. And yeah. ain't nobody said nothing. Like they yeah. happy it, and having a good old time. Right. And nobody but, stopped them. No, it was like, man, that looked weird. It was just norm. So Wilk, so the council going to Washington actually worked when Lily Gladstone's character goes, you know, she get it looks like she gets cut off, but she she did enough that they were like, Yeah, that's a lot of murders. Like that's yeah. This is some the how when when Cuz blew up the house, like when they blew up the house and he used too much dynamite, they just overplayed their hand. Right, if they right. had not done that, they would have effectively siphoned off all that money, though. It would have absolutely happened. But we can be mad and say what we want. But I just watched Patrick Mahomes, who I like very much, who kid I seen his daddy and I done seen his baby in, 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 in another generation. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be like black wear. So we can have a lot of comments about how we feel about what somebody did in 1920 uh but you can look at 2020 uh and, and and have your own thoughts and i don't you know you marry who you want you love who you want i love patrick mahomes god bless him and his family and his kids that dude's on his way to being the goat i'm just saying if we're gonna take that critical eye at them then yeah they ain't the only ones that want that proximity right right oh absolutely not we'd be foolish to think that <laughs> yeah yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, all right, so man, uh Bill Hale. Man, this guy was uh and, and this is all if you look if you look these names up, everybody, mm -hmm. they will show you pictures of these people. It, it, it is a real story, it is not a <laughs> even fictional, this is real. Um yeah. and, and uh Robert De Niro played the hell out of that role, man. Uh I mean to me watching this, I was like, man, this is making me not like him right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because he played that role too well. And this was like, this dude was like Mr. Insurance Fraud. Like, at every opportunity, he was trying to do something to get money. And then he was and then he was paying back people. So I'm like, how much was he in debt? Was he doing this because he just wanted money or because he owed people? Because remember, he was... Oh, probably both, he, but then he had the cattle. He had the cattle, too. He had right, the yeah, ranch. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure yeah, he was okay to a point. He ended yeah. up burning that down, too. Yeah, but uh, Ernest, which is played by Leonardo DiCaprio, comes and visits him, uh, and he's gonna stay with him. And that was kind of how the whole, the whole thing got started. And uh, immediately, you know, once he started driving and he seen uh, Molly, it was it was kind of a quote unquote love at first sight. But it was kind of like money bag. That's that's my money bag at first sight. That's yeah. what it really was kind of coming down to. But uh, you know, they kind of start uh, locking eyes and. You know, that's that kind of the story kind of gets going. But, um, you know, the the moment where her sister died. Oh, OK, well, let me back up. So <laughs> when Bill, Bill's starting to set some things up and he's like, yeah, you, you know, Anna is, is a drunk and eventually something's going to happen to her. So he was yeah. so uh, strategic when it came to this. It was it was it was ugly. Uh, Wilkes, give, give me a thought. Oh, I just. I mean, even the, the way they just portrayed that character, I mean, the acting in here so was ridiculously good. I mean, just the way it was done. But like you said, I mean, he, he was playing those different sides where it was, well, let me plant something here. And then once that gets rolling, let me come back. And then let me, well, I'll, I'll put, you know, I'll put out some, well, not a, uh, I guess, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess uh, not a purse, but I guess he'll put up some money. You know, so whoever can find me these killers or whatever happened, you know, I'll I'll pay for what resources we need. So he was definitely had his hands in a lot of different things. I mean, he was definitely busy. He was a, a puppeteer there. He was definitely keeping the confusion and keeping it cloudy. But, I mean, the character was done very well. I mean, I, I can't imagine the research, you know, that may have gone on behind that and just to capture, recreate yeah. that that person once again for the big screen, but no, it, it was done well, but mm -hmm. shady character, craziness, craziness going on. Yeah. Dirty. Dirty. Charles, <laughs> you got, you got some, any thoughts? I mean, just on which part, uh, <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> on, on, on his, on, on just him as the character. Oh, on just on, on, uh, on Bill Hale. Yeah. Well, King it, it is, is how he wanted you to Correct. refer to him. So that's yeah. to let you know a lot. 
I mean, listen, man, I, I, I appreciate in the movie they didn't pull it, right? He was calculated. Like, again, man, like he was smart, his his nephew or whomever. I mean, Ernest was an affable idiot. Like he was, that's that's that was the role. He was like, like he knew what he was doing, but he was like, oh, wait, my, is this going to kill my wife? Like, no, it's going to slow her down. Like he was, and right. then he was like, I'm going to do the right thing. But then they caught him and they talked to him. I mean, but, you know, it, history... Don't nobody tell better stories than actual history. It's a better story. And I yep. think that De Niro is De Niro for a reason. Uh, and I think that right. if you look into what happened to those people, that man lived to 1962, bro. Like he got yeah. convicted for one murder uh, and he got let go. And then he still had his bread and went, was able to get his wealth. And he died in a nursing home in Phoenix. Right. Like, so, right. Right. you know, just I would just say with these characters, man, it was in, it was an interesting intricate kind of web that they kind of kind of you know put out there i will say this about the earnest piece i don't know what really happened let me say this because people get mad and offended about this but in the movie if you take the movie if you're in the movie and you're just rocking with what the movie is saying they were trying to also show this love story between Ernest and lily right. glassstone's character right. and and what was her name again i'm sorry i want i want to say her name molly molly right like i mean i do think he loved her the, from the way that the movie played it they wanted you to kind of see like that there was love and stuff there but he was poisoning and killing her and i think that there are some literal things and some metaphorical things and i think i was like well why would he why would scorsese make this movie now like scorsese like a kid that grew up around the italian mob and him and de niro from the same area and like they like gang stuff almost cursed i'd be cursing my bad y'all but they mm -hmm. like gang stuff right like so it's right. like how what made him do this and it's like oh if you like the gang stuff this is this is showing you how functional gangs work right. like when you have right. to kind of you, know, you ingratiate yourself you become right. the, when the mafia runs unions like you know what i'm saying what what better union is there to run and take over than the richest oil spread it one of the richest oil spreads in u.s history they still have i think one point five plus billion barrels under the ground in osage nation like it's still there right like so yeah. you know i thought it was very very well played it was so much stuff happening and and just to capture all that on screen you know I, I, similar to oppenheimer where you're just covering this huge like historical yeah. piece but you're trying to find the story inside of yeah. it and lily's character bro like she loved that dude Here's the thing. Here, here's the thing, and I'm gonna shut up because I know I'm long winded, y'all. Here's the thing, <laughs> and I'm gonna shut up. She would have still been with that cat if he would have just told the truth at the end. Like yeah. she oh, really that, just wanted to tell the truth. That right. part is a that she, she knew just, she, she wasn't dumb. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. She knew exactly what was going so, on. So I mean, at some point, I just gotta let a dose be a dose, fam. I don't, I don't know what to. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be mad on your behalf. <laughs> That's well, like me being mad. Wilkes, it. why you keep dating such a hey, Wilkes is a grown ass man, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. right. You right. can only do so much. You can only do so well. That, and that's the that's the comment I made to my wife the other day. It was just like, yeah, this is happening. These murders are happening. This genocide is happening. But then on the flip side of that, hey, here's some money. Go get you some land and start you a casino. And then you know, keep that wealth coming in, add that to your lin to your lineage, and you know, turn the other cheek. You know, we, we let bygones be bygones and keep this between us. So it's like once again, it's just like we know the dirty dealings, but yeah, maybe they we can all get around wanted to marry white boys, Wilkes. They all wanted right. to marry him. Like this is yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Like, they didn't like, even listen, try. Right, <laughs> right, listen, one of the sisters yeah. died because his si her sister. Right. Swooped him up, like so we can exactly. keep going. Like I know somebody, and I get, what, I get what Big Illinois is saying about the first draft of the script. Uh, you know, from a white man perspective, some this you can. This is his. They, these are historic wedding right. pub, like marriage certificates, bro. Like right. as like this is not. Listen, man, in slavery, when we talk about somebody being raped, we talk about somebody being, you know, forced right. under duress and beatings and stuff like these people. We're marrying these right. people, like, yeah, like yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, right? I, I, I hope it's like come like, in and seen it. That's all I was just gonna say, bro. And, like, and, and this was, and this was, you know, one part I, I thought was interesting 
is that they had white people begging them. There was people coming up to them like, please, you have yeah. money. Help, help my... Yep. It's like you, yep. you there yep. was marrying the help, really. Yep. And they, they didn't do anything either. They just sit back in their house and know, oh, you got money, so ain't we don't need to... Yeah, we, we don't, don't worry need about to work. that part. Yeah, A-Trap, he was shaking his head. I'm like, you got something you want to add? Uh, well, I was doing like this. I was metaphorically taking the gloves off. Oh. <laughs> 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 Get I was trying it. not to be H rap. I was trying to be Brian, but I'm going to be H rap, man. And Charles touched on Tosh touched on two things that I spoke about earlier. Uh, um, when I talked, what well, I thought about earlier, I didn't speak. Well, I was, you know, mentally writing my notes. Um, you guys said uh, um, they were marrying the help, right? Let's let's you know what? Hold on, I'm starting to Scorsese. Look, let's let's not forget. During this period, Charles said he grew up in the mafia, and this is simultaneously 3,000 miles to the west, I mean, to the east. Vito Colleone is doing his thing at this exact same time. Let's not forget that. But he made his culture in those films, three of the greatest films, two of the greatest well, films ever. Again. That third one, we had. Greatest yeah. films ever. <laughs> He 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 received a lot of backlash from his culture for making those films because you made us look like criminals. I honestly believe him, the the the, the casting of De Niro and DiCaprio being run by Scorsese is saying white people did worse. Mm -hmm. That's what I think this whole thing is about. You mm -hmm. can you can jump on us about the Godfather. Yeah, they Vito uh uh um. Uh, mm -hmm. Charlie Luciano and the five families were doing their thing, but this is what was happening as well. And let's not forget, during this same period, throughout the country, you had signs in front of restaurants saying, no dogs, no Italians, mm -hmm. no Irish, no Jews. So mm -hmm. let's not forget that. I believe this is saying, he's holding up a, a, a mirror to white America saying, yeah, yeah, Vito Colleone, but these dudes are real. Yeah. The second, the second and most important thing, one of the reasons you will marry your oppressor is because subconsciously you believe, or you've been taught to believe for one, money is protection, which is not. And the most important thing is I can assimilate. I will take all the oppression I can get if I can stop little Ben, little Charles, little Wilkes from getting hurt. So I'll yeah. take on this because this child, like remember that one scene when the white lady and the white man sit at the dinner table and he was like, they're all half breeds around here. And she yeah. said, yeah. and he said, look at him, half savage. For whatever reason, Crazy. our community and other communities will buy into being half savage because you think half savage means full protection. And all it means is you're gonna get we don't have to chase you to kill you, we're gonna kill you at home. Right. And which we saw it. And that's why I believe she was willing to accept it. I don't think he loved her at all. I do believe he was a pawn in the game. And because he was a pawn in the game, he was allowed to move. You know, I think he grew to have some affection for her, but he realized. I'm going to get rich because remember, let's not forget this. And this is one of the most important things. He told everybody who would ask him, I'm lazy. I'm trifling. I don't want to work. I want to kick it and drink. That's <laughs> all he kept saying. And yeah. he realized she marrying her would allow me to be the most trifling, lazy bum I can be, but I still be rich. Because remember, he made a lot of money gambling and driving a taxi. And he went and blew it all at the car game very early. So this lady was unlimited wealth for him, unlimited opportunities to kick it the way he wanted to kick it. Yeah, and, and he was and he was robbing folks too. Uh, that was before he before he got with her. But I one of one of the wackest lines he ever could have said was, "You're you got nice color skin," and she fell for it. That's the wackest line you could ever tell somebody. And I'm like, you're definitely not that dumb. Uh, but I, you know, let's get to some comments here. They referenced uh, the Black Wall Street massacre for a quick second. They did. There was a lady that was saying 
This is just like Tulsa. No, they um, thought they thought that the white folks was coming to massacre them like in Tulsa. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what they thought. And that's why you marry in. Hopefully, you'll get that protection. Uh, there is still Fort Osage, Kansas, full of white folks with no mention of the natives. Yeah, and there's a film, I don't know if it's a film or a documentary, but they're trying to, because there were black uh, natives, and they're trying to say, well, you're not, uh, the white people in wherever this area was, who, again, mixed in with the natives, they were saying, well, you're not native enough to get, you know, whatever the the benefits or, or the money that they get from this casino. So that's a prime example that, to, to Atrial's point, if you marry in eventually, it's 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 just, just going to be uh, mostly white, and you you're going to run everything and make all the rules. So right, bro, they called you savages at your table, cause like I mean, yeah. listen, like I mean, look, man, I mean, there's interracial marriages now, and I I don't have no issue with it, right? Do marry who you want to marry, you know what I'm saying? But there are some subtleties to those things, right? Like I mean, they weren't whispering. It's like. That one look white, out. and that one that one look white, and that one like a savage. Yeah. Look at these little half savages, right? Well, they are savages now, right? I mean, you know, they was kind of looking at it, and the and the mother was having those visions and those views and all that stuff. But they were trying to do full integration. Let me just be very clear, right? Like there are some nuances. This is why I like Scorsese. This is why I appreciate the film. He didn't spoon feed you nothing. He treated you like an adult in it. So mm-hmm. the one thing he didn't he he showed you but didn't tell you like. Those sisters was Catholic, bro. Like, they was Catholic. They changed their religion. Like, they were the ones with money. But still, these they trusted white people that worked for them more than they trusted their own. And so they had people giving them allowances, people stealing their money on the back end. And all the white people, for the most part, even those that weren't actively, this is the other nuance, even those that weren't actively murdering and killing, right? everybody was benefiting from it. So all these people knew. So this is almost akin to when you would hear about the slave master's wife. They were her slaves, right? Where it's like, you get to be an oppressed woman, an oppressed white woman when it's convenient, but you have benefited from this the entire time. You have said that Emmett Till was whistling at you. You have said that this person hit on you. You have said these things. So there were white women in the movie, like at that table, who was an old grandma who knew, like, if y'all don't hurry up and hit this lick, so I ain't got to keep coming to this house. You know what I'm saying? So I think think that Scorsese was saying a lot of stuff there. I think he was just like, like you said, I think it was a commentary on things today and looking back at it. Mm -hmm. And the story is just an interesting story. Again, I'm not trying to take up too much space, fellas. It's just, it was so many nuggets. But it's so many nuggets in there. So again, there's the the movie and the storytelling aspect, and then there's the history. I do think, uh, I do think H that he did love her. I just, I think he was stupid, dog. Like, that was the point. His 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 uncle was manipulating yeah. him the entire time, right? Like, yeah. so when they got him alone and the lawyer was like, that ain't what happened. That ain't what you believe. You believe this. And that boy went back to his wife yeah. and told her, and guess what? She still stood with him. She stood with him the yeah. entire she, she time. She was literally her. dying. She was literally dying. And she's like, where's my husband at? Like, your husband is trying to kill you. You need to get to the hospital where they're trying to take you. Uh, and I, I think he was in love with her, and he, he was scared of his uncle. Now, I think it I think it kind of turned at that moment where he was giving her the insulin and she didn't want it. Uh, and then, they, then it was like, give her this other stuff. I think it kind of turned at that point. I think it, 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 was, it was more of a... I think it became more of a control thing than it was, I'm in love right, with you. That's when he stopped using profanity and, and I, we can't say right it, it's, it's temper it, it's temper yeah uh yeah. Change. And that's why I, you know i think he had affection for her mm-hmm. but I, I i don't think he loved her you know because you know at the risk of trying to be preachy you mm-hmm. don't do that to people you love even if it's a lick you just milk the lick if you love someone you just work your number and, and I do believe he was, you know, his his uncle used him. His uncle, as you guys have clearly stated, his uncle knew how stupid he was. His uncle knew he was the perfect dude to come out here and do it. Yeah. But I don't think he had the capability of loving anything. He loved kicking it. And as long as he was with her, I can kick it as much as I want. And then his uncle started telling him, hey, man, 
you kicking it off fifty dollars now. If we get rid of it, you could be kicking off two hundred. And that's what I think it was. He loved the idea of financial independent, unlimited financial independence more than he even could come close to loving that one. He didn't even love himself, if you ask me. But rap, can we stay there though, rap? Because I the re, this is the scene that makes me think that he did, right? He didn't know, right? Remember, because every all the white people was looking at him like you the dumbest cat we've ever met. <laughs> Remember, they was like, they was talking about this money. I love money. And he said, I love this money almost as much as I love my wife. And all the white people looked at him like, you do understand, like, that, that's what I'm, right. like, or when it was like, oh, it's not going to kill her, it's just going to slow her down. Like, and then yeah. his uncle would be like, you know, well, you know that, and, and, and they use the natives' stereotypes against them. So every every group got stereotypes. The stereotype of natives is that alcoholism, right? Uh -oh. like, cirrhosis, yeah. alcoholism, and so it was easy to, 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 to put that in there. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I do think that it's just like, I, I don't know, man. Like I said, looking at the movie, and again, I don't, I'm not a historian on it. Like, I don't know all the different, that's why I'm just going off of that. And the thing yeah, about research, no, but you know, I know people are going to be like, you got to know the story. So again, I think that what Scors Scorsese was trying to show this love story in it. And Lily, and again, Lily Gladstone becomes this huge, she's going to be this huge star because she played that role with such <laughs> grace and discernment. But like, the only thing that she missed was she was blinded by the love of this dude. Like, so she was yeah. smart enough to kick those doctors out of her house. She mm -hmm. kicked those people out, but she trusted this doofus. Yeah, she was still you know taking what, what the doctors was giving her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was like, <laughs> I love it. But it was like, my nephew's stupid. He's dumb. Like, he's dumb. <laughs> he's, <laughs> there's equivalents in the hood. I've seen these equivalent. I've seen these equivocations in the hood. I've seen the really smart talented girl that ends up with the cat that ain't got nothing going for him right. and she happy when he got a mcdonald's job application fam like you know what i'm saying right. he hit me because right. he loved me type stuff yeah. so right. again it was very interesting but again now now i'm putting my lens on as a black man who is like i think that in that town you could have lynched black people you could have raped black people you could have you could have did whatever you want to there was i don't think we was in the same boat and I think that they thought uh, that they were better than black yeah. people, which oh, yeah. is why they were so surprised because they thought it was the Tulsa was happening to them. And they're like, why would that like her mind was like, we love these people yeah. and they love us. Right. And I right. think that's the undercurrent yeah. that I thought stood out to me the most as a black person. And that's why I said what I said, these people, that's why I said no matter, you know, they, they married in and embraced these people because they thought it was protection from the Tulsa right. situation. Mm -hmm. they we got wealth like they got wealth. We got right. nice yeah. houses like they got. Yeah, yeah. They're I, part I, I, of I, us. And we look like them, you know, just like you got white Mexicans. Because mm -hmm. I, I used to work with this dude named Luke Lawyer. Yeah, I said your name, John. Uh, Luke <laughs> Lawyer, he used to literally <laughs> tell me, no, 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 I'm a white Mexican. I'm like, and I literally told him at work one day, so the Klan won't kill you? No, no, I'm white. I was like, okay. Luke Lawyer. Yeah, I said your name. Yeah, correct. <laughs> Let's get to this uh, comment. Uh, Eric Williams said, the book is deep. It will make you angry. Just finding out what Sooners is and that Oklahoma <laughs> yeah. uh, uses as a mascot is despicable. Uh, Wanga, thank you for tuning in. Uh Big Illinois said, I'm gonna try that line. I told him, you got nice color skin. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and try that. Go ahead and try that. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the government made it no secret. They were coming for everything. Uh, damn it, who it really belonged to. Uh, they sold their land, wealth, and plain sight. Yeah. Read the book first, as always. I know that's 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 always a line when you have a movie like this. Uh, it was sad that no one made it past 50 years old in the Osage community. It solely wiped out that community. Yeah. And uh Charles is Charles uh don't realize you guys use the excuse of reviewing the movie in order to have a conversation. Yeah, that's true. Um basically we we use we review movies, but it's an excuse just for us to talk, you know, as black men and yeah, talk about what was what's going on in our age. This this sister that's part of it's this young lady that was a part of this name. She was 14 years old, she became one of the richest people in America. and white people were literally fighting to be her mentor. Same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Um, of course. So, Charles, you mentioned this. The mom, she was, 
Like she was hip to the game early. I mean, mm-hmm. cause she's obviously lived probably with uh, one of the longest in that uh, town. And she just seen it. Like you guys keep marrying the enemy. And I want Anna because Anna, even though Anna's a, a drunk, uh, right. Anna would shoot anybody. Like Anna, Anna is not involved in the in the garbage that you in. Uh, yeah, like, was, that was that was an <laughs> interesting dynamic right there with her, the mom, and my. Even though Molly was was probably the better one to take care of her, she would she rather would have been with Anna. Yeah. Well, I mean Anna, and I mean Anna, Anna loved her white dude too. I mean she busted up the party because he didn't want to claim her. So and he flirted yeah. with the chick in front of him. And Anna was the hood chick, right? Again, you know, I think that they tried to show these delineations between this, this native family and like other groups, right? Like I think yeah. there's an Anna in every family. I think there's a there's yeah. a all, there's a Molly in every family. There's a grandmama. I don't know if she knew about the money thing, but I just she had a, a valid suspicion of white people. Yep. And I say this because it's funny, but it wasn't funny. But I this is, I was just watching it, right? It was just like. And the mama was just like, I'm just disappointed. All of my daughters are failures. Like, ex- right. like I'm disappointed in I'm all tired of y'all. Like, right. I, like, like y'all let me die. Me. Look, she was like, I'm about to die. Like, let just let me die. Where's my baby? My baby is gone. It's time for me to go. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I just feel like she is the old black grandmama. She is the old Italian grandmama. She the old Mexican yeah. grandmama that's looking and being like, what are you doing to my bloodline? Like, what is right, happening right, right, right now? Right. Right. Um, and, and it was just, it, I think her, because her character was so subtle and understated that she, her depiction is saying a lot, right? I think Scorsese's trying to say a lot through all these different characters. Um, but it was interesting or, you know, and I, the part that I did like was when the white folks started turning on each other, when they was like, oh, we got to kill white bro. They, when they, that's how the house got blown up. Like, right, right, <laughs> right. And, 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 and the, the private investigator right. too, that came through. Yeah. I, I just thought it was. Oh, yeah, they took care of him. Yeah, they shanked yeah. him up. Yeah, and then oh, later yeah. to find out it was Ernest. Well, you didn't know at the beginning when it happened, but later on when they played the clip, you tell it was Ernest. So yeah. I'm like, wow. That, that's when I was like, this dude is is is, a is playing both sides. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was a re re. <laughs> 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 oh, <God. laughs> uh, that's why. That's why it made me say when I like that. I like the mother's line. Mm-hmm. You guys are whitening up our uh, blood. I think uh, personally, I believe that's why they kept kept Anna away from the mother mm-hmm. because if the mother stopped talking, Anna might have slowed down, and then Anna might have shot everybody. <laughs> Anna might <laughs> kill everybody. You know. She'd have been like, you know, white man can't jump. You know what? I'm gonna get my other gun and I'm shooting everybody. <laughs> but she <laughs> loved that. But she loved that white man. But she loved that white boy to death. Like this is the thing, though, right? Like she loved that white boy to death, and he was trying to play her. And yeah. you see what she and it, and you see who she left with, right? Like she what left with them. She trusted them. So again, if that's your most rebellious character, bro, then yeah, y'all ain't got no shot, cuz I don't know. What to, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Like it's yeah, just look. I mean, yeah, they, they, didn't, they didn't have anybody that was truly standing up. It was just like a, we just got late. We got literally lay here and let you have babies. Right. It was just. It's like, yeah, yeah. Well, like you said, you got that safety again. So, you know, I got this, this money. I got this nice house. So if it affords me things. And, yeah, and I got you my know, wife, savior. Listen, right. man, you can, you can be king and nonviolent. You can be X by any means necessary. They both got killed. And so I think that when you look right, at the juxtaposition, the day, right? right? Like you yeah. can you can be Tosa where you like, we're going to be independent and do this thing. And like, we, we're going to be cordial with them, but this is yeah. ours and we're going to do what we need to and we're going to be in competition. Or you can be the Osage and say, we're going to fully welcome and integrate and even give our religion away and take theirs and do all this. You still going to be wiped out. You know what I'm right. saying? And But I think here's the difference. There was Tulsa was annihilated. Those black people's places was annihilated. Osage Nation still exists. Like they still, mm-hmm. I don't, I know it might be whiter, but there is a there is a tribe. There are people that still are the stewards over that 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 money that look over it or whatever the case is. And I think that what the message is to people that are not black but are not white is that listen, as long as you ain't them, like as long as you're not them, if you know how to 
if you're going to be with us, like this is, I used to live in Kentucky, bro. I used to live in Paducah, Kentucky. And there's a reason why poor white people look down on poor black people, even though the same government messing over everybody. Well, I might be poor and white, but I'm better than them. I'm better than them. And I think that you're going to be in for a rude awakening. But some people are okay with being better, being second to last uh, instead of just being Mm -hmm. last. And I think that is, I think it's profound that those people, there's parts of that that still exist. Whereas people from Tulsa, the last person I think, the last survivor member I think just passed or whatever, or they're close to being at the end, but they just still trying to get recognition. They just still trying to be recognized and get an apology for what happened. We bombed our own people. We, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, the same FBI that killed a bunch of black people. I just find it interesting that this was the precipice. This is what legitimized the Bureau of Investigation where J. Edgar Hoover, who's mixed with black, by the way, uh, (laughs) and has his own issues and demons and skeletons in the closet. There's still a statue of that man at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. This kicked it off. What you going to do, bro? This kicked it off. So y'all got me way more passionate talking about this movie than I need to be. I need to act like a guest. We shut the hell up. Hey, nah, nah, that's, hey, that's the point of the show. That's the point of the show. You're supposed to be heated. <laughs> we just said it's an excuse to get together to talk. Yeah. I know, man. It just yeah, was, it my, was just my crazy, wife, man. My wife did not want to watch this. As soon as I turned it on and she seen the first five minutes, she was like, yeah, I don't want to watch this. I'm going to do it. You can tell me about it tomorrow. <laughs> she already, she already do, but she, yeah, yeah. she would have got mad and uh, so anyway, they they hired a private investigator. He comes in. He's starting to unravel some things, uh, and that didn't that didn't take long before he was not. Yeah, because they all done. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a hard case it's to try. It's not hard to solve. Right, right. Yeah. It's not like it was that <laughs> difficult and intertwined. Yeah, no, I'm uh, sorry. I'm, independence I'm, only matters when you can protect it. I was I was literally thinking that before he typed it. Mm. That was the difference in Tulsa. And any other place we've never we've created other places africa town alabama charleston uh uh wilmington north carolina all places around the country but what we never what we fail to do is say and then if they come we are going to and that's yeah. the problem thinking thinking ahead because mm-hmm. that because that because bill hell was thinking three and four steps ahead he, he was already down the street and most of them were still there all right uh i, I want to talk about the insulin what, what what do y'all think that was insulin i i felt like it it was initially and then when he when he when he gave her the other the other pack that was just to basically let her die slowly but it seemed like it was helping initially and then it and then she couldn't get out of bed well I don't know. I felt I felt like they were probably shooting her up with the opium that they mentioned quickly, or whatever they may have dropped in that, or the dosage. Because one minute it started out, oh yeah, it's insulin. Yeah, it's from the you know uh, it came in from Canada. Then all of a sudden, you know, we'll we'll mask that. You know, like I said, just keep upping the dosage or whatever they may have mixed it with. I don't know. I, I felt like they may have slipped some of that opium in there just to keep her. I don't know, on that verge of not talking, she can't fight back, and she'll right. just die slowly, you know, mm-hmm. and we'll we'll move on, you know. But yeah, it's cool. Well, maybe she had some of that opium that him and Vito agreed upon. Indeed, yeah. that's what I'm saying. It's just like <laughs> she's he's the last one in the way. We can get her out of the way, we can, you know, we can bring yeah. this thing we, home. We, yeah, I, we, we can complete the mission. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was that it was the wasting disease. So uh, like like black people, uh, the the Osage folks suffer from diabetes. They suffer from over, being overweight and poor diabetes, yeah. eating happy in the eating habits. So I mean, so the that was historically correct. The 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 that was that was the time when insulin was being created. It was running through trials, I think, at that moment, and because they were so wealthy, right. they were able to they get it first. Get it. So right. it was right. actual insulin, but they were also building in some other stuff. I think they was calling it was the wasting disease. Like it was like um. It was just doing some stuff to them slowly over time or whatever. But so I do, you know, it's it's funny, not funny, but it's like insulin. That was like the first trials of insulin, like on the market. And they right. got to have access to it because they wealth and privilege got it for them. But it was also a way to 
introduce a poison uh a poison agent <laughs> that was you know wiping out this these people like y'all said before the age of 50 man i mean it was i i just never seen something i just never seen a willing participation of like my own just anyway yeah yeah and and molly every member of her family basically was was nine and she made that same that same scream that's that same agony but it's like you you you're allowing it Right. You're not, you're not, you're not, you know, it, it is what it is. They said he won't show money. Girl, I know he won't my money, but look at him. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, but he handsome. But... At that point, cuz, listen, man. Hey, hey, hey Trap, man, I don't think you should go talk to them, blood. I don't think you should kick it with them. Hey, but I, but look at him. Yeah. You grown, bro. You grown. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, if you think about it. Again, fast forward 60 years. That was uh, 1980. I mean, uh, 1920. Let's fast forward 60 years. Mm -hmm. And we had just come out of the 70s watching Nikki Bonds and that crew and and Frank Lucas and that crew and and Frank Matthews and that crew and then Mm -hmm. Felix the Cat and uh, uh, Oakland Mm -hmm. and so forth and so on. And what did we do? (laughs) We're not going to mess with heroin. We're going to start smoking crack. Yeah. It's the same. It's history repeating itself, yeah. and you know yeah, it, it's. This is why they do away. They're doing away with books now. This is why. Uh, uh, this is. I mean, this is history repeating itself time and time again. We continue to not study history oh that's the old days this will never happen and then it happens oh no that's the old days this will never happen then it happens and right this is the beginning of the old days because mm. think about it man we've said it time and time again these people have look they started kicking them in the head before they was kicking us in the head on this continent depending upon which which way you yeah. want to look at it because some people say that, but that's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> but they the original kicked in the head, and then, and then, and then it's so many parallels to our community. You look at the the diabetes, and then what caught, what triggered the diabetes? The, tr- the transition of your diet to the Euro diet. Yeah. What triggers the diabetes in our family? The transitions from our diet to Euro diet. It's it's the same thing over and over and over. First thing she asked him, "What's your religion?" That that was the most shocking line in the entire movie, if you ask me. What's your religion? He said Catholic, and she said, "Why don't you go to church?" And I literally said, "Why are you going to church?" You know? <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, why are you at church? Right. And I go to church, but it's, it was still like. So this this assimilation to the dark side, so to speak, and then you fall, and then like y'all say, there was what was the name of it? There was it was called the, the diabetes, the uh, disease of what? It was the uh, the wasting disease. Oh, the wa- wasting disease. Okay, let's fast forward sixty, I mean, forty years after that, right? What were they calling diabetes in the sixties and the seventies? Consumption. There's so many parallels in this thing to our community, and the way you know that's why I, I, i'm starting to wonder was because scorsese just putting white folks on blast in this man i, wouldn't, I wouldn't put it i wouldn't put it past him right italians i mean when you italian you got some you know there's some pent-up stuff i mean the italians i mean the history of the italians becoming white is actually interesting right it was actually yeah. and it, it was a cultural exchange for people that don't know there was they had to the, in the negotiation right because when the irish came the irish got treated crazy and so did the italians right which is what how you built the 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 mafia but it was uh they they it was the bank of bank of america used to be bank of italy so they had to change that and then in in exchange that's part of the reason why you learn so much about christopher columbus so we might be like we don't rock with christopher columbus i live i grew up in oakland but i'm in the chicago area when they wanted to remove christopher columbus's statue them italians was very hey we don't come to the south side touching nothing don't touch our guy right like that's their yeah. person so yeah. you know i mean there's a there was an exchange that happened i will say this and i hope i don't get canceled from y'all show and not ever ask to come back i just look at molly Never. and ernest as the first blue face and krishan and i don't want to hear from none of them no more i <laughs> listen i just gotta let people be adults 
I'm just, I don't know what you want me to do. Right. Yeah, I'm not babysitting. I'm not baby her face tattoo people. with his face, man. Come on, man. Oh. What's worse? What's worse? Wasting disease. I'm just, let's just look at facts. Just look at facts. Right. Girl, well, get away from that's him. That's the first time him. they ever been mentioned on this show. I'm baby. leaving. Like I'm them. leaving. All right. She, I, only reason I saw it because y'all got to see it too. I got them blocked on Twitter. I don't want to hear their name. But apparently the girl just got his face tattooed on the side of her face. At this point, I got to let you be an adult, man. I got to go on with my life. And if right. Molly loves this dumbass Ernest, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. No, no, you I don't. Good. If 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 yo if the sister dies off of these suspicious things and the other sister, he didn't go holler at the other sister. The other sister was ready, son. Like right. her blood sister. Like what do we? Right. <laughs> what are we talking up. about? Right. I got, at that point, I got an exit stage left, and I got to mind my black business. Oh, this is not this. Just, I just ain't into this. I just got to go. Y'all going to have to just do what y'all got to do. This whole city is a trap house. Let me get out the trap. <laughs> right. Right. And, 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 a, and a perfect parallel. Uh, Krishan had a baby with this guy who doesn't care about you, who who would, would rather you just uh, live on the street if all he cared. And and Molly ends up having a baby. And to your point, Charles, you mentioned earlier. When they, when they were like, yeah, we're pregnant. And uh, and Bill looks over to him like, you dummy. <laughs> <laughs> he Every looked time. like, I'm not happy idiot. at all, you dummy. You idiot. Yeah. That's not how That's it's supposed to go. the plan, man. It's not how it's supposed to go, man. Right, because not a baby is entitled to it. Well, right, not, right. Yeah, that's the thing. Then you got to kill. Then you, but that, so for people that didn't watch the movie, that was the other cat. So remember the other cat that came in and married, the next thing he was going to do was he was he he they was gonna kill her and then he had he adopted the kids and then he was gonna kill the kids yeah. but they caught him before he could do it right. so yeah. you know i mean the, but bill, bill did Rocky. work it though ben bill worked it ben he worked it and said well actually that gives you that might give you more stake because you are their biological father like listen bill was the one thinking bill was putting chess boards chess pieces on the board, but he Genius. he was just like, I can't believe how stupid <laughs> like, right. you are an idiot. <laughs> That's why they was like, our lawyer, he, I'm his lawyer. Are yeah. you my lawyer? <laughs> okay. In the court. Yeah, man, this is where right. people, people be like, what's systemic racism? <laughs> systemic racism is when we got you dead to rights and we stop everything so opposing counsel can have intimate alone time and bring all the white people <laughs> from the United <laughs> States to meet with you in a cabal. Right. And tell right. you that you you didn't understand that the way you understood it. You right? Yeah, didn't. Yeah, and, and you no, you about to affect your uncle. <laughs> this is stupid. Your uncle's gonna be hurt if you do this. Like, <laughs> need you yeah. to be quiet. Yeah. Man. And she yeah. was she she met him. They got the little car meet. It's cute. They hug. They embrace. Liddy glass on. All this. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Hey, baby, I'm back. I, this is crazy, but I'm riding with you. Hey, one last question. What did you know that I was? Like that they was giving me poison. Like, did you? <laughs> right, right. That's what it took for you to be like deuces. That's that's what it took. I, I, I was I was it. just I was just waiting on him to uh, waiting on her to slap him. Uh, especially when they when they had that car meeting. I'm like, at this point, you got to just slap this dude and move on with your life. And she still need, was like, no, nah, I still love you. I need like, that type of love. I would be married <laughs> right now if somebody loved me half as much as Molly loves Ernest. <laughs> You you blocked him on Twitter. You just seen him in the gesture. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is that woman. She she gonna get, she gonna get your face tattooed on the other side, man. <laughs> I mean, he he trying to get that Krishan money in the same way Ernest was trying to get that right. that Molly like, money. Get that guap, baby. Yeah, uh, Golden yeah. said, "What is that movie? If she dies, she dies." <laughs> oh, that's 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 Rocky Four, baby. Oh, that's Rocky, Rocky. He dies, he dies. Yeah, that's, that's Rocky. That's that's one of the most yeah. famous lines of all time. Yeah, hey, I like side, movies, y'all. I'm note, sorry. Side note, there's a documentary on uh Sylvester Stallone. I think it's still on Netflix. Really good. Watch. It is a must, it is a must watch. You get to learn about how he even got into Rocky. That's a side note, but you got you gotta watch that if you're a mm-hmm. Stallone fan. Did they cover but, that um, movie? He was Johnny Salami. <laughs> no, it is that's the character one is Johnny Salami. No, I, don't I don't remember they, that. I don't remember. I don't remember the top. They, I don't think they it's covered the movie that. before. It's 
Prince oh, Paradise, yeah, what, what they did. Paradise yeah. Alley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Wasn't it, I don't know uh, what his name was in there too? Henry Winkler. Yeah, Henry Winkler was in there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, Paradise they Alley. His name yeah. was Johnny yeah. Salami in there. Yeah, yeah, they they talked about that one briefly. Yeah, it's crazy, man. <laughs> crazy. Johnny Salami. <laughs> Cause he, some about like, oh man, he, yeah. Cause they, they even showed the scene where he like spent too money on too much money on this watch. This guy was trying to get him to buy this watch, and he's like, man, I don't have that kind of money. Like, look at me. Let me look it up now and make sure I didn't make that up. <laughs> I'm almost <laughs> sure this dude's name is Johnny Salami. Man. Henry Henry Winkler's in the movie. Yeah, it, it reminded me of a John Travolta movie, but it's I, I now I don't know if his name was Johnny Salami, but Paradise Alley. I think that's his name. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's what it was called. I, I remember them saying that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he said it wasn't a great role, but he took it. He took. I mean, because he couldn't get anything. He couldn't get. Yeah, he couldn't get. And that's how we end up writing Rocky and Rambo and all, because he couldn't get nothing, so he had to write his own. Remember, they tried to and they tried to pay him off. Like, do we just yeah. want the movie? We don't. Right. We don't, don't want, want you. you. We don't even want you. We just <laughs> give us yeah. the movie. Give us the movie. Yeah. You you can move out of the way. Yeah, man, it's it's just it's crazy, bro. Like, I, I mean, I don't know. That was Molly, man. I Molly's just a lover of love, dog. Yeah. Cause she was it's married to Henry Molly. first. It's the Molly. <laughs> she it's married the Henry, Henry first. Then she married the Ernest Cat. And then I think I was trying to look up if her last husband was. I think he was actually Osage. I think I yeah, think she was trying to get back her own. I, could, I no. couldn't. I couldn't find it, but okay. It was her yeah. first husband because remember. He had the 25 No, it was two. She because after she divorced Ernest, she remarried again. His name is John Cobb. I John think he is, I think he's Osage. I think he was Osage Nation, though. But I don't I don't know, bro. I she liked hey, what she liked, apparently. Man, I don't know. Henry, hey, Henry was hard. He said, if it ain't white, it ain't right, baby. <laughs> hey man, Henry, Henry was that dude that uh was on uh Maury or something and found out he wasn't a father, man. Henry was ready to uh, risk Henry it all. For, for his wife, uh, but not like yeah, this. He, he ended up getting murked too. Uh, yeah, and, bro. And with the, by the dumbest, I'm like, okay. Ernest hired another dummy. <laughs> oh, that, that was a, that was a comic relief. Like, I'm like, <laughs> that was. this turned into a com- this turned into slapstick comedy. <laughs> oh yeah, no, he said, this shoot was, him this right definitely... here, and he said, yeah, I shot him in the back of his oh, head. It, it was like <laughs> definitely had some nods to uh, uh, Smokey and the Bandit. It had nods to those comedy, that slapstick comedy, especially that one part where he was like, "You sit down, no, you sit down, you stay right here, don't move." You, st-. that's just that, that's it, that banter yeah. right there. You yeah. can tell that was good. like a nod was good. Yeah. to those different comedies and heist movies and stuff like that. So yeah, no, I I enjoyed that. Wilkes, I don't want to give Corsese too much credit, and H and and Ben, I don't want to give him too much credit. But I will get. I will. I will float this theory. I will float this hypothesis because I don't have a much even a, enough to call it a theory. I will say I feel as if Scorsese was trying to portray these white people in the ways that black people were stereotyped, like lazy, like you know, just baby making, oversexed, yeah, all like yeah, idiots, like buffoons. And it felt yeah. like a vaudeville, like a black face, almost like court. Oh, yeah. On Absolutely. the face kind of performance. I don't want it. Like if Scorsese did that, I would love to talk to him and shake his hand. And maybe it's my blackness that's putting it. But that they were the embodiment of these black stereotypes. That's and, why. That's yeah. Why yeah why absolutely. That's yeah. why I said what I said I think, earlier. I think so. You go get three, you and two other Italian dudes make this movie. Nah. <laughs> that was purpose. And yeah. just, I want you to keep this in mind. Just to confirm what you're saying, Charles, Scorsese said about a year ago, after 70 years of doing this, I finally see how powerful making movies is. Mm -hmm. So if you make that statement and then make this movie, that's exactly what you would know. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. 100%. 100%. Well, you know one of the first people that he showed the movie to, right, that he screened it for? Spike Lee. Well, him and Spike Lee are really good friends. So... Wow. Spike was one of the first people he showed it to, you know, because they both New York boys, right? One is like, right. you know, one is one, one, one is from from Brooklyn. Yeah, you know, Scorsese is from where he's from. So I just, I just thought was, I made that connection. I'm like, because it just felt so, 
like yeah, they lived right, in those right. stereotypes. But again, I mean, but the movie was beautifully shot. I mean, again, like I, it's hard, right? Because people get their emotions wrapped up and stuff like this. So I'm trying to be sensitive on some level. But, you know, I also want to acknowledge, like, even though it's dealing with this very tough historical moment in United States history, which people should know about, because I think it tells you a lot. Like, it was a beautifully shot movie. I mean, Scorsese is a master of his craft. And how old? He's like 80 years old. Like, he's still commanding and doing these type of movies. It's crazy. Like, I, I just yeah, I, I just feel like if I'm 80 with that type of money, you're going to find me with a cigar somewhere. Like, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> yeah, I don't need to. I don't yeah. want to yeah. like dailies every day, bro. I don't know if that's what I want to do with my life. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, Tony Bennett did it until he couldn't do it anymore. So I think Spike gonna do it till he can't no more either. I think this is what, oh, what, what you love is what you love. You, but and and I think that they're friends and they came up in this stuff. And but I thought I mean as far I understand why there's you know a lot of recognition for it. I understand why people why I got a lot of award buzz. I do think that Lily Gladstone from here on is gonna shoot just way up. I mean because even in what yeah. we described, there was a way that this woman made you feel when she was on when she was on camera, when she was in the scene, yeah. she stole every scene. And I mean, she not going up against people that just started acting. This right. Robert De Niro and Leonardo so. DiCaprio. Right. Right. And, right. And, right. and I mean, for her to shine like that, I think the Anna girl is actually, can actually do well. And the mother has already been in stuff. I mean, you know, she gets, they all get typecast for native roles, right? But like, you know, I think the mother was just an echo. Uh, I think a few of them played in Reservoir Dog. I mean, Reservoir, uh, res Reservation Dogs Reservation. or whatnot. Yeah, 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 so I mean, look, man, I, I I think I think there's a lot to be learned there. I think the movie should be in schools. Uh, you know, Oppenheimer kind of put some scenes in there that made it hard to show in schools. But I think that this part, this ugly part of history, is still history, and it's still yeah. a part of what what's happening here. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. and it, and it needs that, to be, that would be my, needs my to be told. It. Like these type of stories need to be told because uh like atrap said it's gonna force you to want to look this up and see okay what happened what well, when did this happen compared to what happened in tulsa like this is the, and I, so i i commend Scorsese for doing this mm -hmm. because this is no matter how old it is it's still history i the, the one thing I, what i would say is i would say show both of them even oppenheimer mm -hmm. because yep. look, our children i mean I like I'm, oppenheimer too that was a masterpiece yeah I'm not saying that that you need to be showing Oppenheimer in kindergarten or anything, but when you like in middle school, when you're about 11, 12 years old, you can handle Oppenheimer if you're watching TV every day. And this, sure. this, if you want people, if the goal is, you know, the fictitious goal that they always present to us is unity across the board. If you want people to have empathy and understand the struggle of people who have been enslaved and people who have been genocided and attempted genocide, genocide, you show this movie everywhere. You show Oppenheimer. You show this movie. You show. Uh, um, you make a movie about the uh, the uprising. You know the uh, hell. You could just make a movie about the uh, Reconstruction. Mm -hmm. Because that's when the clan showed up at Reconstruction. People don't people act like the clan was there the whole time. The clan showed up at Reconstruction. So you show all these things and let people understand the oppression across the board. And then yeah, it's gonna be some white people with that that's gonna be butt hurt, but hey, deal with it. Well, rap, I was saying more for the uh because they had the sex scene in, in Oppenheimer. They had to you can yeah. they, they, you can make that you can you can edit that out pretty yeah, easy. Yeah. 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 I'm just saying that was the one thing because I think people were getting on him like wow he was like it's my movie I don't care about you like this is I'm making the movie <laughs> that I want to make but yeah I liked Oppenheimer I, I, I need to go back and watch y'all's episode on that I, I really no, we didn't do it we didn't no, do we it. haven't done that yeah oh I will we traditionally do movies as Ben said we traditionally oh black people yeah. yeah 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 and this and and when we did this that's why I had to type in the comments we doing it different this week. But uh, I, th I felt like this was uh, definitely a movie that we, we we already talked, we already pointed out multiple parallels to our community. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So um, the ending. Let's talk about the ending before we before we close this out. That was that was another comical relief right there. I, I loved it because I felt like it was it was it was funny. It had some like Dateline. It was like a Dateline during that time, basically telling the story of what happened. And then uh, Scorsese coming up at the end, I felt like that was uh, that was a beautiful touch to it. 
uh, a trap thoughts on the ending? I mean, it was acquiesce. You know, acqu- you know, this is you know, it, it it comes to a point, and then you had to end it at some point. And 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 <laughs> Charles mentioned Spike Lee. This is the difference in Scorsese and Spike Lee. Spike Lee would have had this movie about six hours long. Spike Lee does not know how to end the movie. <laughs> Scorsese knows how to end the movie. But I, I mean, I, I appreciated the ending. It was it came to a point, and he was like, he could he could he could have kept going. This could have been a two, a three, a five, a ten, an eleven. I appreciated it, and I was shocked to see him. But it was yeah. I mean, you you could have did this in. Parts you could have made this series. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's why I thought it was when I first saw it on Apple TV. The trailer, I was thinking, oh, it's probably like four episodes, six episodes. But then I realized it was a a thousand hour movie. So I was just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, now did you? I mean, you don't got ninety you, minutes. Once you see, yeah. Let me ask, did y'all watch this in one sitting, or did you watch it? Did y'all yeah. split it up? Oh, I watched I, it. In I watched one. it in one sitting. I watched, yeah, I watched it all last night after the 49ers game. Oh, I mean, really? Like, yeah, I mean, I was thinking like, all right, if I end up on the sleep, night. I mean, yeah, if I end up yeah, falling asleep, I'll just watch it. But it was, it was, it was captivating. It's not. Are you a Niner fan? Mm, no. I am. Oh, oh Wilkes is. Yeah. Oh, okay, I was gonna I, say, yeah, I'm not a Niner fan, but you know, <laughs> I was gonna say if you, it'd be rough if you because after watching that, but uh, no, nah, man, I will say about the ending. Uh, it, I don't know if y'all seen American Fiction. It actually. Kind of remind they have similar. We just, yeah, we will kinda, be watching that. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I don't want to, you know, that doesn't spoil anything in American fiction. But I do think he was just like, I mean, look, man, when you get towards the end of your life, you start thinking about stuff. You start trying to, you know, and I think he wanted to have some. I wanted I him putting himself in there, kind of talking about what happened and doing it. I think he wanted to land with people. I think he was. I think that's why he called Spike in. I think he wanted to be like, is this is this hitting like the way you ended Malcolm X? Does this feel like, yeah. you know, it's kind of going there? Is this going to change things? And I, I, like I said, I will, I will end like this. I will give, you know, and I know Scorsese still got a lot of backlash because he did portray it as a love story. He did portray as if, if you take the film as a film, he did make that case. And I know some Osage and some other people were saying like that can't be love, like you said, rap. Um, but I will just say, outside of that, I do think he took an unflinching look uh, at just the like. I mean, this is the most, this it's evil. Like it's, it's, it's evil. It's, yeah. uh, it's the evilness of like, I'm going to marry these people and kill them from the inside. Like mm-hmm. I'm going to procreate with them. I'm going to make babies with them. I'm going to, I'm going to poison their, their bloodline and I'm going to take everything with me. I mean, it, it shows you what people can do and what humans are capable of. So, yeah. you know, he didn't flinch on it and I appreciate that he didn't. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, yeah, I, I like how it ended I, I like that he kind of integrated himself into that and just kind of you know gave that that insight and that last snippet of information i mean i enjoyed the movie uh of course for me it's not just the story i mean i i, I love the the 4k hdr 10 all that aspect and dolby atmos I'm, I'm i'm there with it so um one thing that always draws me to Christopher Nolan movies, he's going to give you that IMAX. He's going to give you all that. And I need to finish Oppenheimer, but I don't think I'm giving it any justice by watching it on the Xbox. I think I need to buy a separate, <laughs> a separate Blu-ray player for that one. Yeah. I hate that I missed it in IMAX, but yeah, no, this movie, um, I, I enjoyed it. I mean, just even because of the historical facts, I mean, yeah, I knew it was going to be something of a tragic story, but I like, the historical uh, deliveries. And I mean, all these names under one roof, some, some big name, a- big actors in it. Um, Leonardo actually said he wasn't going to do an interview without having uh, her with him. So it's mm-hmm. like, but she was like kind of, and he wanted her to like take the lead in the interviews. So he's definitely pushing her to the forefront and putting her out there. So uh, I-, I enjoyed the movie. I'd watch it again. I, I I like it. I wouldn't mind having a hard copy of it. I know everything's on streaming service now, but yeah. yeah. Uh, if they ever release the steel book or hard copy, I I go for it. Yeah, That's funny. yeah. We we've come to the point where we don't have movie collections anymore. Yeah. I still love mine. I'm hanging on to it. Hey, <laughs> no, I'm not saying I'm not, but I'm just saying it's like yeah, right, yeah, it's, right, yeah. Right, everything's right. still streaming now. But, <laughs> this yeah, 
a big shout out to Hulu, which uh, Hulu got back into doing. Uh, I think Prey was the first one that they they released on DVD, a, a hard copy steel book. But of course, uh, Best Buy is not selling DVDs any longer. So yeah, you have to turn to places like Movie Trading Company or eBay. But uh, yeah. yeah, no, it's I, I, I like that they, Amazon, they released, somebody was releasing a hard copy. Missed oh, on Amazon. Amazon, Amazon, yeah. Yeah, Amazon. Yeah, Amazon would be another place, yeah. All right, so normally what we do at the end of the show, Charles, and we come to you last. Uh, okay. we, give it a, we give it a mic rating. So one to five, you know, five being the best, one being the, the absolute worst. Uh, and we, uh, any other final thoughts? So let, let's, uh, we'll start with uh, HR first. Oh, uh, well, I'm going to give it a five, man. I enjoyed it, the historical uh, context. The storytelling. Um, I did. I saw the love interest that you got. You know the love aspect, but I just, I just right. like the people. I just didn't see it as a. I didn't see it as love. I thought it was just an opportunistic uh, time chance to uh, uh, to get paid because he was a bum, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so um, he was a thug. Right, right, right. right yeah, exactly. uh, he, was, he was a savage. He was a. He was He's a, a savage. Yeah, exactly. You know. But uh, yeah, I, I, just, I enjoy every moment of it, and and this this was you could tell that one of the movies great when it's three hours and some change, and you and you look up and say, oh, it's over. So that's why I gave it a perfect five. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I, I have to I, I have to give it a five, and it's a, it's from his story uh, delivered for me. I mean, I just love these stories, whether they be tragic and. Or they they don't dive or delve into those things, but no, I, I enjoyed it. It was great. Uh, like I said, I, I'd watch it again. I know it's long, but man, I I get right back in there again. Just so, something I didn't miss. I will say this: the, the death scene uh, really was awesome to me. Uh, when the mom passed, and they were there, pretty much the ancestors were pretty much there to collect her. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. Uh, that was pretty dope. I, I enjoyed yeah. that. I enjoyed that. So yeah, no, I give it a five. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and for me, um, I knew it, uh, to Atrial's point, it was long. But when you watched it, and at the end, you're like, wow, that was that was a masterpiece. Just the the, the intricate details of it, the characters. Uh, when you got De Niro and uh, DiCaprio, you know it's going to be high quality. It's not going to be a trash movie. And uh, and and Lily Gladstone played that character well, so yeah, I'm gonna give it a five too. Uh, I felt like it was done uh, well, and it was a quality movie. So yeah, I, I really ain't gonna get invited back, but it was being fun. Uh, I, <laughs> I was <laughs> like, I loved it. I loved the movie, but I, I, I'm gonna give it a four. And when I'm thinking of Ooh. five, I'm thinking of you know, do the right thing for me as a five. Uh, coming to America, Godfather. Like I, I just like it's just. Like God, like the last fifteen minutes of Godfather is some of the best cinema I've ever. It's just, it's 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 gorgeous. I don't know what else to. It's yeah. you know. I think yeah, he don't come back. He got my seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's yeah, you, 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 def you definitely you definitely coming back. Oh man, I appreciate it. But I, I would give it a four. I think it was a really really good movie. And I, I mean, a four is really good. I think you know Oppenheimer would probably get a four four two five or four five for me. So I think it was. You know, it was epic. It was long. I like that it didn't flinch. Um, I think that I think it said. Uh, I think it actually had a lot of commentary on Black America and what was happening at the time. If you looked at it, if you looked for it, and I think that by him not, I I'm gonna give it a 425 because he didn't take out the Klan. He didn't take out that reference to Tulsa. He didn't like, and I think he That's was, and I, and, the and I think he was juxtaposing and showing you who real thugs were or who real savages were. The things that these white folks pro pro profess to be afraid of, they were yeah. much worse uh, than whatever incarnate they could put in their head. Right. So, uh, I, you know, and it's, it's Scorsese, man. I, I'm also at the point I'm older now. I, um, we're not going to have these people for too much longer, man. We're not going to have Scorsese or, you know, or, 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 like these, you know, he so I appreciate that he still did this as a labor of love. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed it. But I, I give y'all a five and thank y'all for having me. This was really fun. 
and, yeah, and I know I've yeah, talked my ass yeah. off, so sorry. Hey, you, no, hey, hey, you good, man. Man. Oh, man. That's the goal. We need you to talk. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes, right. you know, our guests will just sit there, sit back and listen to us. I, I really yeah, love that's, movies, that's, man. I, let me tell you how much I love them. I love movies so much. Like, there's a bunch of reasons why I'm buying the Apple Vision Pro, because I like tech and I like that stuff. But the first thing I'm doing is watching, like, Avengers Endgame again or, like, you know, yeah. certain things like like Avatar. I, I Avatar is a decent movie, but the immersion of it, like I gotta watch this on right. the Vision Pro, right? right? Yeah, right. Yeah, like yeah. so, you know, that's how much I love movies. I have a theater you made in my friend for life for me. Huh? You just made a friend for life for me. That's how people tell me how great Avatar is. It was just decent to me. I'm with you, man. That was, was yeah. cool. I mean, I, I love the I, the move. The storytelling is uh, it's decent. It's fine. It's not bad. But the um, I like the technology and the immersion. Like I listen, right. there's a reason why that man makes the most expensive, biggest all time movie. Titanic, Avatar. Right. I mean, you look at the top five selling movies of all time. He's in there four times. Like so, I appreciate that. The story is, eh, we could have wrote the story, but I do want to yeah. be immersed in that world. And uh, and and with the Vision Pro, uh, y'all got to invite me back. I'm gonna I'm gonna come on with that thing on because I <laughs> I am a child. I am a child. So nice. yes. Uh, Big Illinois said, I, "I want the Apple Pro for the 3D Disney." He movie. sound like me, man. We Big Illinois seventy three. We we nice. we are in the same boat, brother. Hey, so y'all, what y'all got this year? A trap. You need to get Big Illinois and, and Charles. I need to get together, man. Hey, I got to get together. Right, we don't want to hang with Big Illinois, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. At the end of the show, uh, so A Trap does a show on Tuesday. Uh, Charles, you do a show on Tuesday as well. So I'll just kind of go to you guys what the show is going to be about tomorrow. So, uh, Charles, what's going to be on uh, South Star Classroom tomorrow? Yeah, man. South Star Classroom. Uh, so, South Star Classroom is just uh, it, it, where we do a bunch around education and we say, come for the conversation, lead with tools. Uh, I'm not producing tomorrow's show. We tend to do it in a rotation. We have four of us. Okay. So, um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think we're covering like SAT. It's usually education stuff uh, and how that's impacting the community. But you can catch that uh, every Tuesday right here on the BS3 network. Uh, and that's at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Uh, Pacific. Um, yeah. But I'm really, really happy to be here. Uh, and if you want to find me, you can go to charlescoderthird.com or on Twitter at ccoderthird. Uh, I am not on the Facebooks and the Instagrams and stuff no more. I'm trying to leave social media. But the team said I got to keep one. So Twitter and YouTube is it. So, but again, thank you so much. And um, pass it to the rest of you guys, you cats. Yeah. Yep. A trap. Uh, end of the bench. Well, a bill destroy tomorrow. We'll be, uh, you know, I usually have three topics. And um, let me be honest with you, I only have one topic prepared. I had a, a tumultuous weekend. And uh, it's, you know, unlike most times, this one sidetracked me big time. Um, Moms for Liberty is the group that mm. has been going nationwide banning books. They've banned over 2,200 books, books about Dr. King, books about, um, uh, um, I can't, you know, I can't, I, I'm not in a good space today. But it's this one thing about creating your own education tools. And one of the websites is legacyinstitute.st.org. Uh, and I'm going to put it on the screen tomorrow. And it is talking about uh, civics. It's talking about finance. It's talking about a whole bunch of things. So when we got people like Moms of Liberty out there attempting to get rid of Zornel Hurston and Dr. King and, 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 and uh, James Baldwin and things like that, this is how we combat it. If they, if they you know, you've got 13 women who have eliminated, literally, I'm not being figurative. They have 13 women who have helped eliminate 22 books, 2,200 books from academic libraries just because they have gay characters or, or trans characters or they even mention gay. And they, they've also, they galvanized the black, uh, black ministers in Florida uh, and had them do away with black AP Black History. So when we got we have a force like that. What we have to do is combat it and have people go into these. You know, like you 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 offering up ten percent of your uh, earnings when you go to church every week. Mm 
So start telling these pastors, hey, you're going to either do a Black History Saturday or we're going to start giving 7% of our money mm-hmm. and giving us some of our money to somebody who's going to do this. So that's one of the things. And I apologize. But again, uh, this weekend, um, it took me out, man. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. This was a unique weekend and I have, you know, um, I don't have anything after that. I have notes that I didn't use over other shows over the last three or four months. I'm just going to piecemeal the show together. It's I, I assume it's still going to be quality because I do my best because my whole job is like, like the title of the show, build and destroy, build the community, destroy the lives and the propaganda around the community. But um, this weekend was just, it was something. Hey, let, 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 let's talk about it. Let's talk about it in the background if you want. To yeah, we can talk about it in the background. Okay. Yeah, so um, I'm still not right, but I'll be right in a few days. I'll be right. But uh, it did me this weekend. Did me in, man. So I, 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 I almost didn't go to church yesterday. So yeah. Well, I mean, I, I mean, we appreciate you for for still coming on because you could easily say, "Look." Uh, I can't no, this this is my therapy. You know, I was telling Mo today, me and Mo talked. He called me, and um, I was just like, man, I don't feel like doing nothing, but I'm going to do it because this was going to be the hour or 90 minutes that I wasn't going to think about. It. And, yeah. and, it, and it, our man, thank you, Charles. Thank you, Wilkes. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, people yeah. in the chat room because Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we're here for you. Yeah, appreciate you, bro. But Absolutely. yeah. All right, let's get to these last comments. Uh, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you and your comments. Uh, Ready care with the jokes. She said, uh, I don't have that Apple Pro bag. So I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> that TV Pro. That TV Pro ain't dropping, man. Put the TV right, real close to your face. So yeah, sorry man. to tell you, man. <laughs> Bro, hey, you got no your, your, your boy, Mr. Uh, David. He co host of the South Star Classrooms, been holding it down, man. Uh, and, and, and I, I so appreciate him, man. And so I'm glad he was able to make it in here. Yeah, appreciate you. All right, y'all. Always. Uh, well, uh, we will not be back. Uh, we won't be back next week. Next week, uh, BSU Network will be uh, at the Super Bowl in uh, Vegas for Super Bowl week. So, and then me and B, uh, me and Wilkes doing it next week. We'll yeah, y'all can do the show. Yeah, yeah, I'll come back. It's a week off. What you mean? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. I'm on. saying it's a it's a week in between, right? You guess a it's a you going on an off week? Oh, you're right. You're right. We'll be yeah. back next week. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Hey, Will, you go. We me and Will and Charles gonna do it. We don't need you. <laughs> yeah, man. Get out of here, man. We hey, got hey, hey, yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all got control of the stream, y'all, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> That's right. Uh but right man, right Charles. Right for real, thank you for coming on. Man, this was Glad fun. Man. I get to nerd it, out. I mean, and I love my education stuff. I'm gonna always do it, but just to be able to just the stuff that I have fun at and 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 just being able to nerd out and go there, man. I'm I'm with it. If if you got a tech show on here, I'll go on that one too. But uh yeah. it was it, I had a really good time. Uh Ben, I've known you since forever, but Wilkes and Ace Rap B and, and, and praying for you, B. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I could I could hear you, I could I could hear your spirit, man. Um you know, so prayers to you, but this was just really fun, and I just needed the fun. So, yeah. any, anytime y'all give me a few days to make sure I've seen a movie, I, I will always love to fill in if I can. So that's fine. Yeah. All right, yeah, we'll, yeah. Def- we'll definitely hit you up. Definitely. Uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Appreciate all the comments, all the love tonight. Uh, we had a couple of uh, thumbs up and, and hearts on Facebook. Uh, Raphael Haynes, Jonathan uh, Maloney, you know that uh, person Rafael. looks. Uh, oh, yeah. Darrell Owens, Sonny Cole, Anthony Lansdowne, that's that's big Illinois. Uh, Genevieve and Eric Butler. So we appreciate you guys for coming through. And uh, we'll be back uh, better than ever next week. And uh, we'll see you when we see you. We can do Pootie Tang Please. next week. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, Charles, I don't know if Charles want to do that. Hey, stop <laughs> hey, brother. Stop. Yeah, I'm with you, man. It's all hey, good. Hey, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I won't be here. So On the tippy top. See? See? <laughs> See, see, I told y'all. Really, there you go. This is the perfect. Hey, this is the perfect Pootie time to do it. Came with an early too. rider on that man. There's, there's G. There's brilliance in, in, in Pootie Tang. 
You got to go wash that tire, brother. You say you want dog? I'm finna drive out there and we gonna have a beer. <laughs> I'm with. I'll, I'll host one. I'll, I'll do a show in my little theater. It's nothing. We can we can do it from there. See this yeah. type of. Ben, you ain't seen Pootie Tang. That's why you talking about Pootie Tang like that. Because you ain't seen it, man. Preach, brother. Hey, I'll, 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 watch it now. I'll watch it next Monday. Yeah. But anyway, all right, we, we, we see y'all. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs>